Hey there, it's Lindsay, and in today's video I'm walking you through how I gave my front door a fresh new look using Dixie Belle's Silk Mineral Paint in the color Hampton Olive. This is what the door looked like before I started. If you live in the desert, you know that everything outside gets dusty very quick, so I want to walk you through the prep process that I used. It's important you start with a clean surface so your paint applies evenly and it makes it less likely you'll have to go back and do touch-ups. First, I started the prep process by using a TSP cleaner. You can find this type of cleaner at any hardware store, Amazon, or from a company like Dixie Bell who makes their own. I've found it easiest to mix in a spray bottle with purified water. Depending where you live, there might be minerals in your tap water that can compromise the outcome of your piece, so just be mindful of that. Make sure you're wearing gloves when using this product. It can be harsh on your skin. And you might have to go back through and clean it again if you notice that there's a lot of debris on the surface. Now that you've got a clean working surface, it's important to go back and remove any residue from the TSP cleaner. I use a different spray bottle that has only purified water in it with dry clean towels. The instructions for the silk mineral paint do recommend a light scuff sanding, so here I'm going in with 180 grit to lightly scuff the surface. To remove any dust and particles from sanding, I find it helpful to go back with a tack cloth. Make sure you don't skip this step. And if you don't have tack cloth, it's okay. You can always use a dry clean towel. You can find tack cloth at most stores that sell paint supplies and it's typically in the same area of the store. The Dixie Belle Silk Mineral Paint has a primer and top coat built in, but I like a little extra protection. You can find this primer at your local hardware store, and it does come in different sizes. With painting something like a front door, it's best to start where the detail is and work your way out. I did one coat of primer and let it dry for a few hours. Yours might take a little longer to dry depending on weather conditions. Double check it's dry before proceeding with your paint. One piece of advice I want to give is make sure you have a few backup paint brushes on hand if possible. I had a mishap with one of my brushes and didn't want to leave the house to buy new ones, but luckily I was able to find a few extra that I had. Also, I just wanted to mention, I was able to complete this whole project from start to finish in one day, but it might be easier for some to complete it if it's broken up into segments. So don't stress out if you're not able to do the whole thing in one day. Remember, this specific paint has primer in it already, so this step is not absolutely necessary. Just be sure to read the instructions thoroughly on whichever paint you go with. If you do end up needing to split this project into a few different segments, a good stopping point might be after you finish applying your primer. Finally time to apply the paint. 
I applied it in a very similar way as I did with the primer. Just be sure to pay attention to your brush strokes. My goal was to not have too many directions of strokes from the brush. Dixie Belle does recommend using a dry synthetic brush for this product. Keep in mind you don't want to go back and rework an area that's been drying for 30 seconds or longer. This could potentially drag the paint and create extra work. You can always go back once it's completely dry and do touch-ups if necessary. One other thing to keep in mind is you don't have to be an expert level painter to do projects like this. Turn on some music or a podcast if possible and make yourself a cup of coffee or whatever you're into and just have fun with it. Another fun fact about the silk mineral paint is that it does have UV protection which makes it great for projects like this in case your front door gets a lot of sun exposure. This paint also has a 21 to 30 day cure time. temps or high humidity may prolong drying time so as I mentioned before you might need to break this project up into a few days. I was able to get an early start in the morning which made it easier to tackle it in one day. A screen door or storm door definitely comes in handy for a project like this. You want to have some time to leave your door open to completely dry so the paint doesn't get smudged once you close it. I ended up doing a total of two full coats on the door and then went back actually a few times after that to just touch up little tiny spots I noticed that needed a little extra paint. Once this paint dries, it does have a matte finish, so if you were hoping for your door to have more of a shine, you will need to apply a glossy top coat. And again, this product does have a built-in top coat already, so I ended up not applying anything else. The door has been painted for a little more than six weeks now at this point, and I have not had any issues with paint chipping or coming off. One of the things I love about this specific color is depending on how the light hits it, it can change a little bit, but it's still pretty no matter what the lighting is. I found this cute decoration from my door from Hobby Lobby and if you didn't already know they do run specials on their wreaths at least once a month and they end up being 50% off which is an awesome deal you can't pass up. Here's a quick before and after again. 
If you found today's video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos. I uploaded a video painting my bathroom vanity with this color as well. You can follow me on Instagram too, where you will find DIY projects I've uploaded and other fun things. And until next time, take care and thanks for watching.